Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore an exciting science topic from Cambridge Primary Science Learners Book 5, Multiple Forces. Have you ever wondered how different forces work together to make things move, stop or change direction? In this lesson, we will learn about balanced and unbalanced forces and see real life examples of how they affect our daily lives. So let's get started. 5.4 Multiple Forces Identify the following types of force. A force that pushes things up. It's up thrust. A force that drags you back when you are swimming. Drag or water resistance. A force which wears away the tread on tires. It's friction. A force that pulls you towards the center of the earth. Gravity. Two forces that slow down a car driving down a motorway is friction between tires and road and air resistance or drag. Many forces act together. All objects are affected by several different forces or multiple forces at once. The force that is the strongest will cause the change of an object. The change might be a change of a shape, a change of position, or a change in the speed an object is traveling. Look at this example of Sophia rolling a ball. There are several forces acting on the ball. Applied force as Sophia pushes the ball. Gravity pulls the ball down towards the earth. Air resistance slows the ball down once it is moving. Friction with the floor slows the ball down once it is moving. Which forces are acting when you ride a bicycle? Look at the picture of Marcus riding the bicycle. Gravity is pulling Marcus and the bicycle towards the center of the earth. Friction between the tires and the road is pulling him back. Air resistance is also pulling him back. To overcome the air resistance and friction, Marcus must push on the paddles to push the bicycle forwards. This is thrust. Thrust is an applied force. Professional cyclists who enter races all over the world have very carefully designed and very expensive bicycles. Designers use signs when they choose strong but lightweight materials to make the bicycles ties to cope with rough roads or smooth roads and high tech gears to cope with mountainous country. Forces at work when you cycle. List four forces involved when you ride a bicycle. Gravity, friction, air resistance, muscular force. Which force is a force applied when you cycle? The force applied when you cycle is muscular force. It's the force your leg exert to turn the paddles and move the bicycle forward. Look at a photograph of cyclists racing at the start of this topic. List the ways these cyclists overcome air resistance. Lean forward. Cyclists bend low to avoid the wind. Wear smooth helmets. Helmets cut through the air better. Tight cloths. Snug clothings help move easily through air. Follow each other. Riding close together makes it easier. Question number four. Why is it difficult to cycle on a day when the wind is blowing into your face? It's hard to cycle when the wind is blowing into your face because of air resistance. Why do cyclists with smooth tires on a smooth road travel faster? Smooth tires on smooth roads mean less friction, so cyclists go faster. Draw a force diagram to show the four forces acting on the ball that Sophia rolls in the picture above. You don't have to draw Sophia, just the bell on the floor. So here's the picture. Forces acting on aeroplanes. Air resistance and gravity are the two forces which act on anything lifted from the earth and move through the air. To overcome these forces, we have to create our own forces of thrust and lifting up. 
An aeroplane is a good example of these forces. An aeroplane uses its wing and engines to lift it off the ground and thrust it forward. You can demonstrate this in the next activity. Think like a scientist. Make and test a paper aeroplane. You will need a sheet of A4 paper. Fold the paper in half vertically. Unfold the paper and fold each of the top corners into the center line. Fold the top edges into the center line. Fold the plane in half toward you. Fold the wings down, matching the top edges up with the bottom edge of the body. Hold your aeroplane under the wings and launch it into air. Question number one. While your aeroplane is at rest, what forces are acting on it? When an aeroplane is at rest, the main forces acting on it are gravitational force, normal force, static force, and air pressure. Predict what will happen to your aeroplane when you throw it up into the air. When you throw an aeroplane into the air, it goes up for a little while, but then it starts to come back down because of gravity. If it has engine and wings, it might fly for a bit longer. Throw your aeroplane upwards and outwards into the air. When you did this, which two forces, natural forces, were acting on it? When thrown, the two natural forces acting on the aeroplane are gravity and air resistance. When you threw your aeroplane into the air, what applied forces did you create to overcome the forces you named it? Question 3. When thrown, I created an upward force to overcome gravity and a forward force to overcome air resistance. Your paper aeroplane is flying. Copy the diagram, the paper aeroplane. Name each of the four forces marked with arrows. Lift upwards, gravity downwards, thrust forwards, drag backwards. What happened to your aeroplane with, when you threw it up into the air? Is this what you predicted? Upon throwing the aeroplane, it went up briefly, then gravity pulled it back down. Yes, this matched the prediction. Discuss why the aeroplane crashed to the ground. The aeroplane crashed because gravity pulled it down and air slowed it down. Without constant push from an engine, it couldn't keep flying. Suggest some changes to make your aeroplane stay up in the air for longer. Increase thrust, reduce weight, optimize wings, and streamline design for longer flight. Discuss how a pilot prevents a real aeroplane from falling to the ground. A pilot prevents falling by using the engine to keep the aeroplane moving forward and wing controls to stay steady in the air. Write a conclusion about how aeroplane can overcome forces and fly. In summary, airplanes overcome forces and fly by using engine thrust to move forward, wing design for lift, and control surfaces to maintain balance and direction. So we learned that forces don't always act alone. Multiple forces can work together. When forces are balanced, there is no change in motion, but when they are unbalanced, objects start to move, speed up, slow down, or change direction. Understanding these forces helps us in everyday life from pushing a door to riding a bicycle. That's all for today's lesson on multiple forces. I hope you enjoyed learning with me. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comments. See you in the next video. Keep learning. Allah Hafiz.